Hello there folks, it's Connor here, and welcome to Applaud the Mod, a series that takes a look at a variety of different modifications for the PC gaming platform. Today we are looking at a mod for Star Wars Empire War Forces of Corruption called Mass Effect at War. Yes, it's a Mass Effect modification where we get to control Gath Cruisers, uh, Churian Frigates and Destroyers, Alliance Dreadnoughts, Reaper Forces, it's, it's awesome. And you can also play a Cerberus in case you're uh, partial to a little bit of space racism. But here we are, we're playing as the Gath Collector and Reapers. They are all within one faction. And they have started a battle and built everything here so you can have a look. Of course we have the Collector ship. Alright, let me just, give me a second there. I apologize about this. The music is a bit uh, grating at this point, it just keeps playing the same track over and over again. So yes, this modification is currently a... Holy shit, look at the size of that bastard, look at that. Are they firing like half of a a rocket or something? Did NASA lose that? I have no idea what's going on. Where's it even coming from? Uh, but yes, we are... The, the modification is currently in early stages, but you can play it. And all three factions are currently available. So we have the Alliance, which is the coalition of different races, including the uh, the Churians, the Quarians, the Humans, the Blue Ladies, and the Silurians. It's been like a year since I played the games, and I, is it like a Surins or something? The Blue Ladies? For some reason I'm drawing a blank on their names, I have no idea why. But yes, uh, you play as those, or the... As you can see, the Gath, Collectors, and Reapers. And then there is Cerberus. I find Cerberus to be the least interesting of the races. Pretty much because it's got what the humans have. And that's it. Only a different paint scheme on their ships. Look. An Alliance Cruiser. The Alana. The amount of detail and work that has gone on to this modification so far is nothing short of amazing. I mean, we are fighting outside Omega. Look. It's so freaking mega. Look at that. Is it not freaking glorious? If I had to say something negative about the modification so far, it's that the translation is non-existent. It's like they tried to use a translation a program or something to translate, you know, info and just the background in each of the units. And also the skybox here. It looks really, really bad. I mean, if it was not stretched out or such low res would be a lot better but currently it just kind of takes you out of it a little bit but again it's in early stages everything else is fucking glorious from the ships to uh, some of the sound effects on the soundtrack although the soundtrack does repeat quite a lot it gets tiring after a while it is quite fun nonetheless now because there's so little currently here uh, this will be a quick video but let's see the uh, gath which they have a big dreadnought here the Reapers, I have Harbinger, and I have Sovereign. We're Sovereign, he's off on his own doing something. Here he is here. Look at that. The models and the textures are freaking beautiful. They really, really are. We have some Collector Hunters here, which are kind of like drones, I suppose. You see them chasing after the Normandy whenever she's trying to take out the Collector base. And, well, yep, Gath Cruisers. Even though they have windows for some reason, whenever the Geth saw windows as a structural weakness. I'm assuming they're windows, they look like windows. Some Geth, or not Geth, sorry, Reaper Destroyers. Something that I would really like to point out is, look at the station. The station is actually the collector base and it upgrades over time. And your defensive emplacements. So in Empire War you would have turrets that you would just build. You could build missile turrets or like laser, turbo laser defense turrets. And this here... You build Gath destroyers that take up place on an asteroid and act as defensive emplacements. Is that not fucking badass? Come on, that's freaking awesome. I've never really seen anything like that done before in Empire War, and I really like it. That is something that just blows my mind. Something so minor like that is pretty damn awesome in my book. So let's continue the slaughter here. I have a massive fleet. Just going to take out this Alliance cruiser here. Uh, we have, of course, a relay here in the background, and this is the Alliance base. Look at that. 
it's gorgeous. Everything about this modification so far is gorgeous. Apart from the skybox, but I'm sure they'll remedy that in the future. So far, there are a few maps. Every map you would think or want to play it in the Mass Effect universe. We have Mars, we have Omega, we have uh, uh, the Citadel, and a few others, like Tuchanka and things like that. I expect more maps in the future. Possibly even the uh, Turian Homeworld. That would be pretty cool, fighting above the moon. So what I'm doing here is just going to clear up the enemy. Uh, because, well... Look at us. I have to use this force, it would be a sin not to. I'm just going to select all. And attack move. And thank you, somebody told me about uh, you pressing A to remove the interface. Thank you very much, that is pretty awesome. For some reason it doesn't remove the little... Unit thumbnails. Which is quite annoying. But yes, does this not look freaking awesome? Yes, we are. Obviously, we're playing as the Reapers. So let's get back to the main menu and I'll show you what maps are available on the three factions. I'm trying to keep this short. I'm trying to keep it short. So here we go. We have the Crystal Fields. The Citadel, of course, which allows three factions to fight it out at one time. Uh, Mars, which looks pretty damn awesome. Omega, which you've already seen. Omega itself looks absolutely beautiful. Panos 4. And Tuchanka. So, yep, the three factions currently available, the Alliance, the Reaper, and the Cerberus. And each of them feel really, really solid at the moment. So, if you want to try it out, I'll put a link in the description below, and you can play it out to your heart's content. Uh, but do remember to like, subscribe, and I have many more videos like this available on my channel, if you'd like to check them out. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. Good day, loyal citizens of the Empire. Today, the Emperor has employed a system that will allow you to support the latest Imperial endeavors. Click the link below to support a safer and brighter future for every citizen of the Empire.